there's a lot of structures that inspired me to become a civil engineer, such as bridges and other things. But one of them is actually this behind me, which is the Lovell Space Telescope. It's something that I've been visiting since I was a child that continues to inspire people today as well. It was actually the only telescope that could track Sputnik for the Soviet Union and also was used by the US in the space race as well to track their missions. So it's of massive, massive importance. Even to this day, it's, it's still the third largest telescope in the world after one in the US and one in Germany. Professor Bernard Lovell, who was a physicist and astronomer, who came back from the Second World War and wanted to try and detect cosmic rays at the University of Manchester. So he came here because here has much less interference from, from light and, and tr transmissions than in Manchester, obviously. And this used to be the botanical gardens for the University of Manchester. First, they decided to build what's known as the Transit Telescope, which filled out the whole field of the site behind me at ground level and was made of low 66 meter diameter of scaffolding and steel wire. This actually was the first telescope to detect emissions from the Andromeda galaxy, which inspired them to improve it and make something better. So they then designed the 76 meter telescope behind me, which was quite different at first though, because just before construction, uh, world astronomers discovered emissions from hydrogen atoms, which were about 20 centimetre wavelength and originally this was designed in steel mesh for emissions of about 1 to 10 metre wavelengths and replaced the mesh with steel 2 millimetre thick steel plates of which there were 7,000 which increased the weight massively so they then had to redesign the substructure below it so they had to get civil engineers to redesign it at the last minute for construction which you can see is made of a massive amount of steel girders and bracing and columns which is all bolted and welded together. So this really interested me in space and then physics and, and maths which really led on to getting interested in engineering. So I then when I went to university did a year in industry uh, where I went with Network Rail and then did a summer placement where I worked on bridges and, st and structures. And I also got, uh, my placement got craned into Farnworth Tunnel near Bolton, which was a really interesting project because it's the tunnel boring machine where they re-bored it for electrification. It's actually larger than the one at Crossrail. And also uh, worked on a few viaducts and settling Carlisle line and sea defenses on the Cumbrian coast. All these things that I've, that I've done as an engineer have definitely at least partly being inspired by visiting this place as a child behind me that I've continued to visit since and it's somewhere that's still inspiring a lot of children and young people and people of all ages today and therefore it's something that's really encouraged me to go into physics and maths and towards engineering so so far it's been a really really interesting and great career and um, something different every day which I would highly recommend. <laughs>